What is up guys? Welcome to the round of 16 for the GOT. This time we are taking on Redithan, who we have uh, been uh, quite uh, getting cl quite close to. He's become a very good friend uh, over the past couple of weeks. Uh, and um, we faced him before, uh, a few weeks ago actually, in the GPC, week 10. And we crit our way through with Doug Trio to take that game, win it, and uh, secure our playoff spot. And essentially knock Ethan out of playoff contention. Um, so, now we have quite the matchup on our hands. Ethan, you see his six mons there. Uh, Jirachi, Mega Pidgeot, Haxorus, um, Magneton. We have Pilliswine and Keldeo. Keldeo being the biggest threat to me. He also had a Whimsicott in the back, which I was pretty sure was going to come, but instead he brought Magneton, which kind of surprised me. Uh, but anyway, so this is the matchup. We are bringing Zoroark, Megalodios, Heatran, Feraligator, Roserade, and Golurk. So Golurk is our Stealth Rocker. We also have a backup Stealth Rocker in uh, Heatran. It's uh, Choice Scarfed. So is Zoroark. We have a Max, uh, well, not Max Spadef, but very Spadef invested. Uh, Megalodios to take on the Keldeo in case it's Icy Wind, uh, and as well as being able to take on the Mega Pidgeot, uh, the Magneton, stuff like that, a special Jirachi, if ever that was a thing. And then we have Sash Roserade. Um, Scarf was also an option, but Sash seemed like uh, the better thing to bring in this case. But anyway, uh, our Megalodios has Ice Beam and Shadow Ball with Defog and Roost, uh, or Recover rather. And uh, we have Magnastorm and Flamethrower on Heatran because Heatran had the best matchup, honestly, against his entire team. Being able to trap things in with Magnastorm, guaranteeing that they wouldn't switch out, was uh, was a great asset. But uh, we haven't hit any Magmastorms yet this tournament up until here. So I was kind of banking on the fact that some would hit at this point. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Roserade. It has a great matchup against the majority of his team, except for the Mega Pidgeot, which I didn't think he would lead. But as you guys will see... Roserade is in uh, staring down a uh, Mega Pidgeot right here, so we're going to be forced out into our Mega Latios. So I'm just going to slow this down a little bit. Uh, we are only going to take 38% from that Hurricane, so I'm going to be able to recover it off after he goes for a U-turn. We, we do have some defense investment as well, so we're able to take that quite nicely. As he's going to go out into Jirachi, I'm going to get all my health back, and I'm expecting him to either U-turn or Iron Head. I want to scout, so he's going to go for the U-turn. I'm going to throw off a Shadow Ball as he's going to go out into Magneton. I don't have a lot of speed on this Latios, so I want to see... Uh, I have no speed actually, no investment, so I want to see if his Magneton is faster, so I just click Recover here. Uh, and he's going to go back out into Jirachi. Now I know he's not going to, uh, sorry, he's going to go out into Pidgeot this time. And uh, I'm thinking he's going to go out into Jirachi here, so I'm actually going to fire off a Shadow Ball. That is not what he does, instead he stays in. Uh, now he's going to U-turn out as expected. I'm going to go for the Recover because I don't want to be too low again, I want to keep this thing at pretty high health. And uh, he's going to go right out into Jirachi. I know he's not going to U-turn this time, so I'm actually going to pull out a switch into Golurk, which works out perfectly as he goes for a Thunder Wave, so that's very nice. And now I'm going to get up my Stealth Rocks as he's going to U-turn out into the biggest threat to me, which is Keldeo, uh, which my only switch in is Megalodios, of course. And uh, we are going to pull that switch right here, uh, as he's actually going to pull a very nice double out into his Pillow Swine now. Uh, Pillow Swine, big threat. Uh, I can't really switch out on it because it pretty much kills everything on my team. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, not realizing the Shadow Ball was a harder hit thanks to uh, Thick Fat. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. We're going to get a Spadef drop, and he's going to go for an Earthquake, predicting me to switch out, which was a good play. Now, here, um, here's the thing. Latios checked so many things on his team, but... I didn't think that he would actually go for the Icicle Crash on the following turn, knowing that I could easily switch out into Feraligator or Heatran or anything like that. His Pillow Swine still had some viability, especially if it was Wish, Wish Jirachi in the back, but um, I didn't think he was actually going to cl click Crash right here. So I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to go for another Shadow Ball. We're going to get this thing very low, but he's actually going to click Crash, and that's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to put us in range uh, to where we die to anything from Keldeo and, uh, when coming back in on Rocks. He's just going to go for an Ice Shard here. I predict that and go out into for Alligator. And now I'm just going to click Waterfall. We're going to get rid of this thing. I don't want it hitting me anymore. Uh, I'm tired of it, so I get rid of his Pillow Swine. He's going to go in, out into Keldeo now. I'm thinking this thing is Specs, so I'm actually just going to switch out into my Megalodios and uh, sack it off. Uh, I, he goes for a Hidden Power, and it's resisted. So I'm thinking, uh, well, it can only be one of a few things. It can be Hidden Power uh, Fire, Hidden Power... Uh, at this given moment, I was thinking... Uh, what was I thinking? I was thinking Hidden Power, um, what was it? I'm not, I can't remember now. It was, it was something, it was something. Anyway, um, 
Anyway, it could be anything. Uh, it could be anything that Latios resists, so I'm just going to keep going here. We're going to go out into Rose Raid. He thinks I'm Scarfed, so he's actually going to switch out right here. And he's going to go out into his Haxorus as I click HP Ice, uh, and we catch it on the switch. I'm, I was thinking Pidgeot was actually going to come in, but Haxorus does, and we're able to knock it out with the HP Ice right there. He's now going to go out into his Mega Pidgeot, which I do not want to stay in against. I'm going to go into Heatran. He's going to go for the Hurricane. He's going to hit us pretty hard. Luckily, no Confusion. Turns out he had a lot of HP investment on this, and this falling crit mattered from Magma Storm. We're able to take out the Mega Pidgeot, but that definitely, definitely mattered. Uh, Ethan was not happy. Uh, I'm going to go for another Magma Storm here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to switch out, excuse me, into my Roserade. Uh, and he's going to go for a Hidden Power Psychic, actually. So it turns out to be Hidden Power Psychic to be able to hit our... Um, our Toxicroak, which we didn't bring this week. He's going to go out into Jirachi now, and I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm. It's going to do a good amount of damage. At this point, he's still thinking I'm Scarf, but I'm Sash, so I don't have enough speed to take out his Keldeo at all. Uh, he's, he can easily kill me with an Empower Psychic. He's going to go for a U-Turn right here. Of course, we are Scarf Tran, so he's going to bring back in his Keldeo. Uh, and we're going to go for another Magma Storm right here. I guess he predicted Hidden Power Electric because he actually pulled... Uh, a double out into uh, Jirachi as we just went for Magma Storm uh, and we were able to uh, knock out the Jirachi right there. So very good. It's it's 5-2. to two. It's looking good. I'm going to go for another Magma Storm right here. I'm going to trap this Keldeo in and he reveals to be Calm Mind, which I did expect to come to some extent. Uh, but not with Hidden Power Psychic, uh, Secret Sword. I guess his last move is a water move, but I'm not sure yet. We're actually going to miss the next Magma Storm, which ends up mattering. Uh, as he's going to go for a secret sword. Of course, I did get the crit earlier, so Heatran wouldn't have even been around if it wasn't for that. Uh, so I guess that makes up for it. We're going to go out into Golurk, uh, which is not actually Golurk. It's um, Zorark. I go for the U-turn. Get on out of there. I'm going to go out into Roserade and sack it off. Uh, because, again, it can't really do anything anymore. I know that his Magneton is quite fast. So I'm just going to sack it off. I guess, uh, especially Zazo was in the chat. He thought it was... Uh, Scarfed. He was he was sure, sure, sure that it was Scarfed. He's going to go for a Scald here uh, on my uh, actual Golurk, and it is going to get a crit and knock us out. I don't think that mattered, uh, unless he was really, really uh, defensive. Uh, even then, it didn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to now go out into Zorak, and I'm going to Memento. And this is my last stand. With his lowered special attack, I can definitely take his Secret Swords with Feraligator. So I'm going to bring it in, and I have to go for Dragon Dance if I any have any chance of winning in case the Magneton is Scarfed. But... Right here, guys, let me just ex explain something really quickly. Before this draft started, I had a draft plan. Heatran and Megalodios were my first two picks. My third pick was Vaporeon. Mence, you're going to know where this is going. Vaporeon was a Pokemon that I wanted for a couple of reasons. One, it was a bulky water that also had water absorb, so it can switch into Scald, something that Megalodios and Heatran don't necessarily want to do. I also uh, wanted Zoroark on my team, so I needed a good water check. For Alligator is not a good water check because it can get burned, and it's a physical attacker. So that's why I wanted Vaporeon. But the other reason was because I saw Mence do something once, and... I really wanted to try it out. Now, I knew there was a very good possibility that I would never, ever go up against a Keldeo in the tournament. But it turns out that I got matched up with the one person that has Keldeo. And if I got Vaporeon, this game would have been a lot easier because Keldeo would not have been able to set up in front of me. Because Vaporeon gets a move known as Synchro Noise. It's a Psychic type move with base 120 power. But it only hits a Pokemon with the same typing as you. In any and all other scenarios, for almost any Psychic type, it is completely useless. But in that specific matchup, Vaporeon versus Keldeo, Vaporeon is a lure for Keldeo to set up on it with Calm Mind. And Synchro Noise blows it back. So, unfortunately, we got stuck with Feraligator because Vaporeon was sniped from us, but I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance here. As he goes for Secret Sword, now I see how much that does. It does 25%. Um, I need two Mineral uh, or two Midroll Waterfalls on no investment in HP Keldia from Waterfall to be able to knock it out. So I'm just going to go for the Waterfall, and it turns out he has a lot of HP on this thing because that does 31%. Mineral on no investment is 40 and I'm Sheer Force, I cannot flinch this thing, there's no chance. We're gonna go for Waterfall, and uh, fortunately for Ethan, and unfortunately for us, 
we are not making it through to the round of eight or the quarterfinals. Uh, Ethan will be moving on, and I will try to cover a few of the matches from here on out, uh, if I can. I'll try to get in on them live, maybe with other people in a, in a call or something like that, uh, if we get a chance to, so... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll always be on Discord and whatnot, and I'll try to cover the the rest of the matches live and maybe post them and, and upload them for you guys. But uh, that's going to be the end of our run. I was knocked out about at the round that I thought I would be. <laughs> uh, a lot of really good players in this tournament, including Ethan himself. He's, he's a fantastic player. He didn't have a very good run in the GPC, but um, I know what he can do. He's very, very good. And uh, yeah, we're now 1-1 one one against each other. Uh, if it's not for hacks, I usually don't win. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, again, if, uh, if this Keldeo would have taken the extra um, Magma Storm earlier, I think we had a shot because it would have been at 20%. It would have been about 18% lower than it is right now. And without the Leftovers recovery, I might have been able to do something a little bit different with uh, my Zoroark, maybe even Memento earlier and set up with for Alligator. But anyway, uh, no point in looking back at it now. Our Montreal Habsols are unfortunately knocked out of the GOT, our own tournament. Uh, but that's kind of what I wanted to happen, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Like I said, I, I prepped and I, I tried as hard as I could, but I ultimately didn't want to end up winning this whole thing. Um, and it's it's nice to be able to to sit back and watch other people uh, duke it out from here on out, and it's going to be really cool. Um, there's two more people left right now, as it stands, uh, as I'm recording this, that uh, I'm rooting on, one of them being Ethan and the other being Johnny. Uh, I want to see either one of them win the whole thing. That would be really cool. Um, they're both really good friends of mine. So, yeah, that's it, guys. If you uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of, uh, of our run through the GOT. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.